frying up a taste of culture. I've been making fry bread since I could stand on a chair. Sunday, Alicia Bigback shared her family's recipe at Clackamas County's Indigenous Peoples Day celebration. I'm Northern Cheyenne. My sister, Celia, and I own Sister's Fry Bread. Fry bread is something beautiful born out of something ugly. When Native Americans were put on reservations, part of the staples that were given to um, Native Americans was flour. And um, each tribe, you know, has their own recipe, has their own process for making it. The county partnered with Clackamas Community College to put on this free in-person event for the first time. Um, and it's a way for us to celebrate the indigenous peoples of Oregon, um, the different tribes and the different peoples who were stewards of the land here before Oregon became a state and Clackamas County became a territory and all of that. It is mm -hmm. honoring the people that um, that were actually here <laughs> when um, European mm -hmm. settlers came. So it's really important yeah. to give credit where credit is due and celebrate that. Each vendor and booth offered a way to honor and learn about indigenous history, culture, and traditions. If you were to come to our longhouse for a traditional <laughs> gathering, uh, this is the order we serve our food, starting with the salmon, the venison, our <laughs> different spring roots. Hi, my name is Darlene Foster. Uh, my Indian name is um, Tamasipa. I'm part Warm Springs, part Wasco. Vendors not only shared their skills, but stories as well. Our, our people traveled all over to uh, follow the food. And a lesson in respect for the environment through history. And they tried not to gather it all in one place. They moved one year, next year, you know, so that they weren't depleting the food. To me, it's important that people know that we're still trying to keep our traditions alive. A message shared Sunday through music, storytelling, art, and food. Awareness, respect, and um, understanding that there's space for everybody.